Devastation, though, looms with Hurricane Florence down south. And tonight, 35 Red Cross volunteers from Connecticut are stationed throughout the Carolinas, ready to assist immediately after the storm clears. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses were to Matthew Campbell spoke with a Connecticut volunteer who is giving back after her loss during Superstorm Sandy. Squalls, high winds and pouring rain. Lori Robinson joins us from a town outside Raleigh, North Carolina. As a Red Cross volunteer, she'll be providing food to thousands after Hurricane Florence. We're going to be hunkering down uh, as the Irv drivers will be hunkering down until the storm is over. Lori is a relatively new volunteer. She was a victim in Superstorm Sandy and says she was displaced from her Milford home for five years. Eyewitness News chronicled her long road to recovery. There hasn't been any kind of timeline given. After living through that disaster, she knows firsthand how crucial Red Cross services can be. And was out of my home for five years, so I'm paying it forward. And I always said when I retired, this is what I was going to do, and this is what I'm doing. Tonight, she gears up for her second mission as a volunteer. Looking back on her traumatic event, knowing thousands are about to experience the same, the services and help she gives will be done with extra sensitivity and care. We will be going out and distributing food, it's things like that, water, what people need. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.